What's up? In this week's video, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing, but we're going to be doing it. Uh, this is the week that I'm hunting. I came home early today. Um, Amanda's Jeep's heat's not working on it. I'm going to try to fix it for in between hunts, and she's not here right now, so I figure why not uh, jump on a couple of things with this boat. I'm going to be painting it. The whole video isn't going to be about painting it, but it is the first thing that I'm going to do in this video. Now, it's not going to be very detailed. Uh, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. Y'all guys see me, you know, paint the outside of the boat step by step. So just pretend that we're doing all of that on the first part of this video. As for today, we're just going to wipe it down with some soapy water. And then when it dries, we're going to go over it with some acetone and then lay the paint on. The inside of the boat has paint on it already. So we ain't got to go through all the extra dumb steps to prep it, to etch it, the surface or whatever. So we should just be able to lay the paint on. And uh, that's it. Uh, probably do the camouflage, and then we'll move on to some of this uh, structural stuff that we have going on in this boat, mainly this big hole right here. We gotta fix it. And we'll probably go ahead and do the floors in this video too, I think. All right, let's get to it. Wasn't really planning on painting today. I was gonna hunt all day, but I got a little lucky. Got myself a doe. Oh, got a little meat in the freezer. I hope I live in a very, very high risk, I guess, of CWD. I mean, it is, it's like a hot zone. So I really won't know for two weeks and that really, really sucks. So let this deer hang up for a couple of days because it's gonna be really, really cold. Today's the warmest day. I think it's like 50 degrees right now out here, which is one reason I'm painting the boat. It's just a, the best day to do it in the next week. Uh, so anyways, y'all ain't here to hear about deer hunting. Hopefully that deer don't have CWD, long story short. I'm gonna paint the inside of the boat. We got it prepped. And as always, I'm using a little weenie roller and these little cheap Harbor Freight chip brushes to go around the, the tight spots, roll the rest. I'm using uh, Seahawk Alumahawk paint, old custom formula that I created myself. And uh, hopefully since this boat pretty much has a, a coat of paint on it, and it's not very far from the color we're putting on, uh, maybe one coat, we'll get it, <laughs> let's hope. Uh, don't have to be perfect because we're going over it with pretty heavy camouflage. All right, that being said, let's get to work. we go i think one coat is gonna do it i have a little bit of touching up here and there but i'll have touch up anyways because i know how rough y'all are on stuff i've seen y'all build boats before i know you're gonna scratch this one so we'll touch up what we need but i think uh the one coat got it pretty good i need to get it in the garage because it's supposed to rain tonight put it in here next to doreen all right, we're gonna start working on this camo. As you can tell, I'm a little under the weather right now. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot at a time because I don't wanna breathe in extra paint fumes. I think the high today is like 42 in Tennessee. Uh, I've been out in the weather hunting 
and I came home today a little early, so I wanted to do a little bit of work to, to the boat and uh, not kill myself at the same time. So, as I said, this is probably going to be kind of choppy, but I mean, if you want to know how to camouflage a boat, I have a whole video on camouflaging outside of this boat. So, this is probably going to be you know, very time elapsed and, and time jumping. So, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and knock this out, hopefully, if I don't die. Slowly but surely getting there. The bad thing about doing the inside of a boat is you just have so many corners. So you got to like do a spot right here and then jump over here and then jump over here and just keep on. Then you got to worry about your stencil saturating. So it's a slow process to keep it from looking like crap. And I am kind of blowing through this a lot faster than I did the outside of the boat. But a lot of this stuff is going to be covered and you'll have a lot of other things to take your eye off of the shoddy <laughs> camo job. But we getting there. All right, finally got all this camo done on the inside and we need to clean it up a little bit and put the foam back in. And then we can start with the flooring. All right, if you guys remember, this boat already had a floor in it, which is right here and it's just an old road sign. And I just don't think it's worth, you know, redoing the whole thing when it's already cut out. Uh, I wish they would have cut it out a little bit tighter than what it is, but we're gonna try to make it work. I think the hydro turf is gonna cover any of the imperfections i'll make another template for it uh this thing had carpet that indoor outdoor carpet on it and it was glued down with glue and f26 or some kind of super duty glue and i just kind of took a mouse sander and a flap disc and as you can see i kind of try to clean it up pretty good and i'll probably go over it one more time with a mouse sander before we put the hydro turf on uh, and also right here it's upside down but that is the front part then we have the deck and the little bulkhead too so basically what all we're doing now is putting it all back together they had screws holding it down i'm not going to do screws i'm going to do countersink rivets i just think it'll be a, a better fit uh, over time screws can back out and of course if you're going to use screws you're probably going to use stainless steel and then you have stainless on aluminum contact which you know we've already discussed that you don't that's not the greatest thing in the world and aluminum screws wouldn't be great either so aluminum rivets is how we're going so let's get to it All right, so to attach this front deck, they had this, I don't know what you want to call it, this <laughs> perforated aluminum, this angle, and I just went right back with it. But instead of using screws, I used 3 16 rivets, which I had to drill out a little bit and put them in there. And then this bulkhead was the same stuff, this aluminum that's notched, and then they had this pretty big tubing on each side and they had it screwed in to the brace and I went in with a 3 16 rivet on each side and it's not a whole lot of room to play with you can see it's kind of got a little gap right here so it's going to be kind of hard to do very many more rivets I might have to go in with I don't know I could just put a little piece of angle right here 
you know, attach it to this brace and then attach it to here. I don't know. It, it doesn't need a whole lot because, I mean, everything's pretty stout on this. But I do need to go in and figure out some way to tie it in a little bit uh, sturdier. And then we can put this top on. I went ahead and ordered some 3 16 countersink rivets for this top. They had screws, and we're going to go back with aluminum rivets. Keep it from rotting out over time. All right, I'm running out of a light and i'm running out of steam i've been up since 3 30 uh deer hunting this morning and i'm going to go deer hunting tomorrow and we're going back to work this video is going to be a little bit later this week i've been doing uploading on tuesdays um i don't really i can't see a real big factor of what day is better for uploading that's just what i've been doing so this week will be a little bit later apparently because today's monday and I'd like to at least get the floors and the decking in one video, which like, obviously we don't have a whole lot of work left to do, but uh, it's going to require a whole nother day. I want to fix this too in this video, so we'll get to that. Once we get this done, we can wrap this video up. All right, see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. I'm not in the deer stand. <laughs> I'm at my house. I woke up this morning and decided to try to get a few things done around the house. I got, Like I said, I got to go back to work tonight. It'll be a short week. And I'm off on vacation next week to do some more deer hunting. That's the week I usually save to try and kill a deer. It's usually when I kill a, a decent buck every year is that first week of December. But anyhow, here we are. I've already went ahead and put these in pretty solidly. I said earlier what I was going to do is just take a piece of angle, just some scrap angle, and then riveted the bulkhead to it. And it's pretty solid. Of course, we have a gap right here in the middle this had just an open compartment when i got the boat and what i plan on doing is i got one of them cheap plastic hatches that i'm going to fit into place it's a little bit smaller so we're going to have to build it up a little bit and we'll frame it out to where it fits that so i'm not going to stress out about that too much anymore and uh, right now we can go ahead and put this top deck back on which will be held up on them rivets i don't think they're supposed to be here till next week but it'll at least make me feel better that I completed something by putting that up there. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I also like to point out the material, uh, whoever built this boat the first time used, I think it's called ACM. It's aluminum sheeting and it has like a, I don't know what it is, a plastic or, it's, it's hard, but it could, have, uh, it could have been like a rubber and then over time <laughs> brittled up. So I'm not exactly sure. But uh, it's pretty cool stuff. I looked it up, and you can get a sheet of it for under 200 bucks. Uh, it wouldn't probably be good for decking, but it might work pretty good for flooring if someone's looking for an option. If, someone, if anyone's ever used this stuff uh, for boat builds, you know, holler at me. Let me know how it worked out. Like I said, I don't think I would trust using it, you know, unless it, plastic is really hard, which might work out good for decking. But if that stuff's kind of rubbery, I wouldn't use it, you know, over a span like a deck. Like I said, a floor where you pretty much got contact everywhere, I think it might work out all right. Uh, then I wouldn't know until I used it unless some of you guys have, so uh, let me know if you have. This thing right here, this is some super heavy duty aluminum. I mean, this thing is super heavy. It is quarter inch thick all right that's what they had on here that's what i'm going back with apparently you can tell it still has some glue on it and it's got some high spots where they've drilled something through over time so i'm gonna clean all that up before i put the hydro turf in like i said i'm not attaching this yet like you can see they already had it countersunk for the screws and i'm going back with them rivets so whenever they come in i'll clean this thing up and pop it in place but at least we uh we look like we're getting somewhere now huh I went and took the deck lid off because I realized that this would be easier to do with it off. Uh, this, this is the lid I'm using right here. I'm going to mount it just like this. And I need about seven and a quarter, seven and a half inches for my opening. I think it's going to be good from side to side with what, what we have right now. So what I'm doing this, I don't even remember where this piece of aluminum came from, but it came as something that they had on this boat. And I just kind of cut some little ears on it and what I plan on doing is just attaching it like so which I'm still going to put my piece of foam right here I'm going to notch it out for all this stuff we've done so it won't just be like a gap right here and this is going to put us roughly 
I mean, I'll be able to fudge it up some. Right now it's seven and three quarters. So I think I can get away with raising it up a little more. So go ahead and get this exactly where it needs to be and rivet it in place. Got my piece riveted in. I use countersink rivets to keep it flush. And what I'm going to do is get a piece of flat bar, eighth inch flat bar and run across here. That way it kind of fills up all the, the gap or whatever because we added some down here. That way it won't kind of be wonky. I plan on going over all this with hydro turf. I should have enough for that. That way we cover up all these holes. That they had stuff going on and uh, I don't have that piece of flat bar. I'm gonna run the lows and do that, but that's uh, gonna be pretty cut and dry and that'll be done for the time being. I'm not gonna attach that hatch until later on. Now we can move on to this right here. We need to fix that. Uh, what I plan on doing is using a sheet of aluminum and going all the way across and just basically just putting a skin on top of it. I have a hatch, I mentioned before. It's not this big, but it's pretty big. And uh, I'm gonna cut out for it after we get this piece where it needs to be. Uh, it's gonna be, you know, these benches roll. So we're gonna have to kind of cut it to like right here. And we're just barely gonna catch this lip where they cut it out. I wish they would have done a little bit better job than that, but that's what you deal with with working on these old boats. Um, everybody else's past mistakes and shortcuts. But it shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully I can get a few rivets on this side, on each side where it's cut, and it'll kind of help the structural integrity of this box. Still gonna go in with some foam on the front and back. Not exactly sure where I'm gonna put the switch panel yet. We got this big hole right here, which is way too big for the switch panel. Uh, they actually had a plate that was covering that hole. So I might just go back with it. I know it's kind of shoddy, but I mean, what else am I gonna do besides run a whole piece of aluminum on the front side too? I might end up putting the switch panel in there, but I just feel like driving the boat, you're gonna have to climb over this seat to turn something on or off. So I think the switch panel would be, would make more sense over here. Anyhow, all right, so let's go ahead and get this piece of aluminum cut out. I'm not using a road sign. I actually have some aluminum that is this might my last good piece of scrap aluminum that i can use that i got when i bought all them sheets of aluminum so uh, i'm gonna have to sacrifice it for this but I, I don't really see any other way of fixing this hole all right let's go ahead and do it all right already looks better all right now i do have like a little bit of gap right here on each side but I'm scared to cut it any narrower because I don't I don't have hardly any purchase right here to rivet anything down. So I might take like a little body hammer and try to roll it over just a hair after I get it riveted in. If nothing else, I'll run the hydro turf like a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? To try to cover up this anyways. All right, so before I put this in, the smart thing to do, I believe, is go ahead and find center and cut out for my hatch. Close enough, let's cut it out. All right. All right, now we can go ahead and, well, I need to wipe this down because it started raining on the outside. Uh, wipe it down and go ahead and rivet this in. All right, that turned out halfway decent. Went ahead and put foam on each side, on the front and back. Uh, probably would have looked a lot more aesthetically pleasing if I run some pieces and kind of squared it off, but I mean, it's just a hatch. And I think I might have to be messing around in here with some wires and stuff too. So I kind of want to be able to pop that out and access it if I need to for right now. Then I might glue them back in a later date. But, Said we got 
Got a whole problem fixed. A hatch fits in there nice. Uh, it does have a little bit of a gap, but like I said, I might try to take a hammer and tap it all the way down. We had enough purchase to barely grab it right here where they cut out for that live well they had. But that's done pretty much, and all we need to do is run that piece of flat bar across there, and we'll get this hatch fitted, and uh, I think we'll call it quits on this video. All right, this was a kind of an all over the place video, but I didn't really see a good stopping point. You know, I didn't want to get too detailed with the paint because we've already done that. And I feel like just doing throwing these floors in would be too short of a video. So we combined them. and we got a lot of progress done. I know it's been a couple of weeks because last week I, I took off and I didn't do a video, even though I did work. This, is, <laughs> this video is a compilation of two weeks worth of work but not a whole lot of work because I would just, you know, come home from deer hunting and fool with it for a little bit, mainly doing that paint on the inside. It took forever, but we got it done and it looks pretty good. Uh, the inside of the paint, if you want to know what it would look like on these stencils, if you just kind of send it in, that's, that's kind of what I did. And it doesn't really look that bad. Like I said, you'll have your eye drawn away to a lot of other stuff, the hydro turf, and the lids and all the accoutrements of things we're going to be putting on the inside of this boat. A lot of it's going to be covered up anyhow. All right, the next video we're going to be fooling with the back deck. Had that slotted angle in the back, and we're just going to put two pieces of metal on it. And hopefully we'll get those countersink 316 rivets in so we can get the front deck on permanently. And I'm going to be putting a gun box in here, and I'm not exactly doing a homemade one like I did before. Uh, more details on that in the next video. Hopefully that'll be enough for a full video. And then of course we'll be doing the hydro turf and the hydro turf. I might do a standalone video because uh, I feel like I've done enough boats with hydro turf that I know the best way to do it. And my last two ways of doing it were not that. So a little more detailed this time, but that's in a couple weeks, hopefully, which I'm off work next week. Going to be hunting, like I said previously. So next week will be another week of kind of jabbing at it here and there, but I have the rest of this week too. Today is Tuesday. So I've got three days of work to get caught up on everything. Well, all right, guys, I really appreciate you watching. See you on the next one.